Hey, welcome to my world. My name is Dan McKinney, and well, this is what I live for. Good morning, Valley Forest Middle School. Glad you could tune in to another one of 60 Seconds. I'm Danny McKinney. I'm Danny McKinney. And I'm Danny McKinney. And good morning, Connoisseur. I'm Dan McKinney. And I'm Dan McKinney. We've got a great show for you today. But coming up in today's segment, I'm going to be joined by comedian Russell Brand, who, breaking news, Dan McKinney, Temple student, has a story. For the past six years, the Cherry Crusades have been providing the noise for every home Temple game. $35, and that's what it costs Temple students. But first things first, students, the Owls need to get past Ohio on Friday. Temple University's Welcome Center, the first stop before prospective students and their families head out on the campus tour. And she's got quite the following among students. In the stadium provides host to numerous events. But this isn't a hobby, and it's not just a passion. This is my domain. You gotta love squash player convention. Quaker Town, one of these. My wish, Harrison. Al Sports starts right now. The show was held here in Mitten Hall. So let's hear what he has to say. Senator Obama, you've been energizing, and life's always in the fast lane. I am. I am a journalist. In front of the camera, Dan, but you're behind the camera too. Tell me about what you do. No, I mean, this has been a passion of mine ever since seventh grade, and uh -huh. you know, since then I like to consider myself a backpack journalist because I love having a hand in all aspects of the production, you know, from the editing to the writing to the camera work. So, wow, um, I tell you what, through my eyes, the world is a different place a place where memories are captured on the field. and off. A world full of people and their captivating stories. This is just a glimpse into my life in a world fueled by my passion for journalism. Sarah Salem rang in 2010 with some devastating news. It was a shock. The second semester senior was re-diagnosed with stage 1 ovarian cancer. I didn't even have time to think about it because I went into surgery and then started chemo. But this Temple student isn't letting cancer run her life. I, I can honestly say I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be able to go through it and I wouldn't keep fighting if I didn't have such an amazing group of people surrounding me. No idea. Instead, Sarah chose to fight back against cancer by taking a lap. That's amazing. It's kind of, it's, it's a nice kind of just simple thing that everyone can do the entire night to really kind of make a stand against the disease. This year, more than 1,000 students will take a lap around the pavilion, and it's all part of the American Cancer Society's annual Relay for Life event. Are you for Relay? Yeah. Great, one of the ladies can help you. Temple students moved into the pavilion for a night full of walking, dancing, and some good old-fashioned board games. No, he ain't, no, he's ahead. It's a lie, he's ahead. But for Sarah, the most important part of the night was seeing everyone come together. Cancer sucks, but the biggest blessing it's brought me is, is seeing the kindness of people. Support and generosity came in the form of $50,000 raised by Temple students and organizations. And the shirt says it all. Cancer sucks. Nice lot, man. Oh, best double cheer is obviously the fight song, so it's... T for Temple U, University. We want to fight, fight, fight. For the cherry and the white, we will fight, fight, fight. Um, all right, we'll do that again. Meet the Cherry Crusades. Members of this student-run organization gathered two hours before home football games at Lincoln Financial Field to blanket their bodies in paint. Oh, right over the belly button. <laughs> oh, right in the belly button. That's not coming out for a while. But for them, this is normal. That's definitely not for everyone to just be like, you know, okay, I'm going to go paint my body and then, you know, be dyed red for three or four days because it definitely takes three or four days of a couple showers a day to get all the paint out. Luke is the president of the Cherry Crusades and recently led the group to Happy Valley for the Penn State Temple football game. And you know, I was getting texts from my friends, you know, they could hear us on TV. People across the stadium said, you know, we had a nice, a nice little pocket of cherry in that sea of white. 
Then there's this guy. He likes to be the center of attention. Woo! I like people noticing me, so I figured being painted up is one of the ways to do it. But being painted up and chanting the Temple Fight Song is just the beginning of what it takes to roll with this crew. You gotta be loud. You gotta be into it. You gotta be in their face. That's right, Eddie's do. Coming back. About the whole entire game. Like, you can't die down at all. But most importantly, you gotta be a little nuts. Oh, you, 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 you suck! And once the game starts, it's a rush, really. For the past six years, the Cherry Crusades have been providing the noise for every home temple game. And under the leadership of Luke Butler, this organization continues to grow rapidly. But this is what College Football Saturday is all about. Let's go Temple! Let's go Temple! Reporting from Lincoln Financial Field, I'm Dan McKinney for Al Sports Update. For the cherry and the white. Fight, fight, fight.